Shona! 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 Why are you going sooner? I... Try to relax, Shona. We've got you. Stay with me. Stay with me. There's no wound. What? It's not her blood. I stabbed him. I stabbed my son. Still nothing. How much longer is this going to go on for? Maybe no news is good news. Maybe. Well, I'm sorry if I've added to your stress recently. You know, making things difficult for you and Gary. Oh, it's OK. Things have been tough enough for you yourself. How are things with your mum? She's not my mum. She's lost the right to call herself that. I really miss the twins. Anything I can do to help, or any time you want to come here and hang out with a couple Sarah? of monsters, then you are very welcome. What's going on? Paul said Max was missing. It's all right. Um, we found it well. Seb did. He's, um, he's upstairs. What happened? <sighs> he found my phone and uh, saw the messages about Shona and Clayton. You kidding? No. So he wanted to go and help. But, um, Seb persuaded him not to. Well, we, we both did. Well, cheers, Seb. So is, uh, is, is Clayton let her go now? No, last I heard, they were still negotiating. My mum said that she's gonna, um, text me if she hears anything. Oh, come here. I'm sorry I wasn't here, yeah? I'd best be getting back to Frank. Yeah, OK. Well, thanks again, Seb. Sorry, I love you. Love you. Abdominal stab wound with signs of internal bleeding. BP 74 over 36, heart rate 132, oxygen 96% and 15 litres of O2. Is it going to be OK? He needs emergency surgery. I don't want to be with him. I'm afraid that's not possible. I'll update you as soon as I can. We need to get you checked out. Oh, fine. I'm just working. I need to take a first account. Right, do you have to do that now? <laughs> Well, we can do it here after you've seen him. <laughs> Come this way, please. Look, can you just give her a minute? I think he's going to be fine. He's in good hands. <laughs> what if he's nice? Um, Mr. Burton said I can do a class presentation on the bail accommodation. Mm. Oh, and we like Mr. Burton. Is your fit? Hardly an appropriate question. Not really your type. You don't know what my type is. No, I reckon I do. Um, can we, can we just focus? Table for two, please. And the wine list. I'm afraid we don't serve alcohol. What? Do we need it? Oh, of course not. <laughs> uh, take a seat, I'll show you the menus. Uh, damn, I've uh, left my purse in the bistro. Just gonna nip back and get it. I've been thinking. We should do something different. Change the salads. I agree. No, I'm not talking about work. Us as a couple. Jeffrey, I am not being sawn in half. I just meant dinner. Oh. Date night. Hmm. We can go out and eat, then back to yours and... chill, as they say. As who says? Young people, I don't know. What I mean is, I'll bring my pyjamas. <laughs> Seb was, um, was really good with Max, you know. He's a really good lad. He, um... He still hasn't found any work. Couldn't you just give him his no. job back? So that's why he was so keen to help? No, he was just being kind. Yeah, right. Why are you so down on him? He was with you for a year. Look, he became a liability. Is it any wonder after everything he's been through? Look, I feel for him, I do. But I've got to think of the business now, yeah? I need reliable workers and I've found some. They're much cheaper than him. Hello. Oh, thank God. You all right? Oh, I'm so relieved. Right, um, should I come to the hospital? Actually, you know what, Mum? No, I better stay with the kids. Yeah, they're fine. Well, no, um, Max knows about what's happened, but I'll, like, I'll explain it to you later. All right, OK. Love you lots and all. I'll see you in a bit. OK, bye. Look, I'll have the kids if you want to go. <sighs> I'd rather you go and see Seb. Oh, I just don't see why I should take him back on. Shona was held hostage by her son and she could have died. And Max could have lost his mum all over again. 
is bigger things, Gary. I know it's asked you to lie down. Oh, I bet you'll love it this time. Well, I know you're upset, but please don't take it out on me. Yeah, well, you tried to kill Clayton yourself once, didn't you? Yes, I And now I've probably done the job for you, so... I never wanted any of this. You never wanted me to see him at all. Well, can you blame me? <sighs> see what I love in it. How can you say that to me? I mean, I've just had one of the worst days of my life since Kylie died. Since your son did that, he killed the one person who I loved most in this world. Now he nearly did the same again. <sighs> of course I didn't want you to see him again. He's a murderer. He's a psychopath. I'm sorry, I know he's your kid and everything, but it's the truth. And I just thought after the last 24 hours or so, I, I thought you'd have seen the light. He killed Dane. What? He had him smuggling uh, drugs into the prison and... Not because, you know, his life was in danger, but because he was making money. Um, and that's why Dane died, because a bag burst inside him and Clayton's not even bothered and... He called him an idiot. And I fell for his lies and, I, I mean, I'm the idiot, you're, you're not, right. You're not an idiot, all right? You're just his mother. <laughs> What kind of monster did I create? I mean, that's my, my baby, my genius. You can't go blaming yourself. You know, I had the knife to my throat and uh, I don't know what came over me. I just, I, I turned around, I elbowed him. I grabbed the knife and I just stabbed as hard as I could. I mean, he's just like me, but that's where he gets no. it from. No, no, you are nothing like him, all right? You are kind, selfless, generous, beautiful. I mean, that's the reason I fell in love with you, Shona. How can I be a beautiful person? I stabbed my son. You were just trying to protect yourself. You just did what anybody else would have done. Yeah, but if he dies, that makes me a murderer too. Call them. Voicemail. I'll try later. I'd rather not leave a message. So you're still a bog cleaner, then? <laughs> Funny. How serious is your turn next time? Just make sure you do call her. Oh, you're trying to get rid of me now? Actually... I think you wasted it. You're a good doctor. Uh, I kind of feel responsible for you. Giving it up. I brought Ronin into our lives. Oh, stop it. I can't be dealing with you being all sincere. Yeah, well, don't worry. It won't last. <laughs> it is amazing how happy people are to get rid of these. Well, Lolly's going to be well chuffed. Yeah. With me? Yeah, <laughs> like you've got a chance with her. Not than you do. That's not the way she looked at me. But she's not going to be interested in a waiter with a dodgy haircut, is she? Yeah, or a doctor with a dodgy face. I told you one last. Look, I don't like Lolly in that way. I just like her as a person, all right? Hiya. What's Kate about? Has she gone for lunch with Lolly? She was supposed to be having lunch with me. Yeah, well, maybe she used to go. <laughs> what are these for? These are your wedding favours. <laughs> Whose stupid idea was that? Where's Shona? Oh, she's giving a statement. Clayton. Your part of me wants him to die on the operating table. I hope that the anaesthetic hasn't worked, but I know if he does. I won't charge her. She's been held hostage for 12 hours. Nick, I thought it was Kylie all over again. Shona didn't die, did she? And she fought off Kylie's killer, so come on. It's kind of the opposite, isn't it? I just know if he dies, she's going to implode after everything that he's, he's, he's done to her. And she's still a son. And she's just stabbed him. Hey, well, look, you know, if he dies, she's got you, she's got us to stop her from imploding. You don't know Shona. No, I do. She's basically you, but without the beard. 
she's vulnerable. She's got the softest heart of anyone that I've ever met. I never thought I'd love anybody again, but I do. I really do. I love her so much. <sighs> It's all okay. Them kids are Lily's a right mare. She's only five. Mm, she moaned about the sweets that I got her, then she tried to get me airbrush. She's just a kid, you can't be angry at her. I'm not angry, I'm just telling you. I didn't have to look after him, I was just trying to help. Not that you said thanks. Saved by the bell. Seb, yeah? You all right? Thanks for helping Sarah today. I hope to. Cheers. So I've got some work going if you fancy it. You're offering me my job back? No, I'm offering you work on a freelance basis. At the same rate as my other labourers. What rate's that? Five ninety an hour. That's less than I was getting before. Well, time's changed, Seb. Got to match the market, on not I? So you're saying I'm the same as those Bulgarian blokes who just wandering off the street? No, I'm saying that they're skilled labourers just like you are. Why should I pay you more and them less, eh? Because I've been working with you for ages. Yeah, until you messed it up. Well, I'm not apologising again. And I'm offering what I'm offering. No. Your decision. Why didn't you take it? Because it was insulting. You can't keep turning jobs down. I've still got some pride. <sighs> like my mum used to say, pride doesn't put food on the table. Well, what's it to you anyway? It's not like it's your food. You've got a family that does that for you. What's that supposed to mean? I can look after myself, right? Why don't you just go home and have a nice cottage pie, whatever Sally makes you? You know what? I will. And that pizza I've put in the oven for you, I hope it's burnt. <laughs> now, you don't want to be robbed at gunpoint, do you? Not really. Sign here. I'd prefer to run it past my aunt cafe first. Oh, Gary, hi. Look, I'm organising a petition against the Bale Hospital. Right. You know it's going to be right opposite my flat. The one that I might be asking you to do some work on, if I don't put it back on the market. No way. Way. Close to you, your business, and your children. Mate, why do I sign? <laughs> you really need a cake after all that lunch. For later. I'm also putting the petition online. The more signatures that we get, the more chance we have of stopping this blight on the neighbourhood. Well, there you go. What are you doing? Well, hello, young lady. Hate it when people call me that. You don't want to be living next door to a bunch of prisoners, do you? Yes, actually. Well, I don't. No offence, but it's brainwashing you, Summer. Excuse me? Just cos you get off on befriending crims. It's your next pet project. Hey, don't talk to him like that. Well, what are you going to do about it? Hold down. He's insulting you. Right. Come on, Summer. You don't need to see this. We'll get your cake from Debs. You know, people like you are exactly why I'm signing this petition. Good luck with it, Claudia. Well, I've told Sarah, Annie Graham, you had a million questions, obviously. Where's Shona? She was in the place. They've not arrested her? No, not yet. I don't think you need to worry about it. Well, you know what the police are like. They're all black and white. I mean, I remember dropping a lipstick into my bag. Dropping a lipstick? Well, it... It fell off the shelf into my open handbag, but, I mean, did the police see it that way? No, they did not. I hardly think it's the same thing, more. They're not arresting me. Oh, I love the police. Yeah, I still might face charges, and even if Clayton doesn't make it, um, they think it's self-defence, so... No, I told you. Oh, no. You know, just talking it all through, it just made me realise I didn't have a choice. Of course you didn't. I'm so sorry for everything I put you through. Don't that matters now. Oh, I know, but I should have listened and... instead of was just lying and... stealing money. That was all we're going to pay it back. Don't worry. I just didn't want to believe that he wasn't my little boy anymore. I know that feeling. No matter what they've done, and he's been no angel, he still want to protect. Um, how is he? He had a perforated bowel, but we managed to stop the bleeding and repair the damaged vessels. So he's stable for now. <sighs> okay, 
Thank you for everything you've done. We can go home now. Do you not want to go see him? No. That's not Clayton. That's not my little boy anymore. No, I know he's alive. I never want to see him again. Okay. <gasps> so naughty. And that's why you love me. Mm. Now for the biggie. No, me and Ron agreed. No bridesmaids. You have to. Who says? Everyone in the history of weddings. We're not doing tradition. Don't you want your bestie by your side? I've got a great dress that will only upstage you a tiny little bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, maybe you're right. Bridesmaids are supposed to bag the best man. <laughs> Mine bag me husband. Luella Charnock was your bridesmaid? Mm, maid of honour. No maid, no honour. You knew she was like that. I know, but I thought, Tom had more taste. <laughs> Men. <laughs> You're so lucky marrying a woman. <laughs> as long as she's not like Luella, Luella Charnock. Charnock. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's the word. Uh, Crook out, Dundee. Mm -hmm. Only man didn't work on was Tom. <laughs> what are you chuckling about? Nothing. Listen, um, why don't we have our date night tomorrow? I'll get Alia to cover. It's short notice. She might be busy. My Sophie, then. Oh, I don't want them to think we're being lazy. Lazy? We're here every day. Then it might get busy. <laughs> Anyone would think you didn't want to spend time with me. It's not that at all. I love spending time with you. It's just... I worry about this place too much. It's one night, yes. Place isn't going to fall down without us. less money. It's the same as the other lads are getting. Yeah, but it's not what he was on before. So what? So? I'm not surprised he was insulted. Look, I did what you asked me. Stop having a go at me, please. I don't know if I grow this afternoon. Right, just think about all the tough times you've had. How many times that you've nearly gone off the rails, but people gave you another chance, me included. I just thought for once that you might give someone else all right, the same All right, all right. I'll give him his old flaming wages back. Anything for a quiet life. But I'm not crawling back to him now. He can wait until tomorrow. Oh, you're all heart. Where are you going? I'm gonna go and put the poor lad out of his misery. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have taken my anger out on you. It wasn't you I was angry with. And you, you've been a real support. Um, and I'm grateful. I just want what's best for you. I know. Because I love you. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Don't be. Um, spoken to Gary. He's going to give you your job back. Same wage, everything. Really? Yeah, you have my word. You didn't have to do that for me. No, that's the least I could do. Anyway, as you were. That's amazing. So nice of her. Yeah, she's, um... Yeah, she's nice. Oh, that is too awesome. You've made a bride and a bride very happy. <laughs> yeah, of course, we'll go for a drink. Great. OK, bye. I've just got you a fancy hotel for your wedding for free. We've already got a venue. A registry office at a backstreet pub is not really a venue, is it? It's my dad's pub. No offence to your dad, but you need to feel special on your special day. And this place was in the Real Housewives of Cheshire. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hi, Amy. <laughs> I thought we were having lunch. Damn. Uh, that's my bad. Distracted her. Word in talk. <laughs> Have you been drinking? No, they don't serve alcohol here. You know that. <laughs> Hey, I just got you um, a venue for free. We've already sorted it. Well, now I'm sorting it better. Best wedding for my best day. <laughs> You're gonna love it, sweetie. It's the um, Chariot Square Hotel. Isn't that where Stephen Tracy got married? Oh, they must be really classy people. It might be fun. Maybe. Come on, sit. We'll yeah. talk um, flowers. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's in here somewhere.
this is an alcohol-free restaurant. Oh, you didn't say we couldn't bring our own. Sorry, Evelyn. He said it was all right. Did he now? Excuse me. <laughs> That's me, always causing trouble. <clears throat> Why are you gonna die? Oh, he found out. I'm really sorry. Oh, me die? You don't get rid of me that easily. I missed you two so much. Sit down. Come on. Oh. Will you play Xbox with me? She doesn't really play. She just presses the buttons. <laughs> I do. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you show me, eh? Grand two. I'm Auntie Sarah. You need to eat. Oh, there's um, some stew in the oven. Um, Gary, will you heat it up? Why are you in Daddy's top? Because what's mine is hers. Yeah, but don't worry, I won't start wearing his jeans. <laughs> Good, because they're really uncool. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> right, come on, show me this game. Could have lost a night. But you didn't. She's here, and she's safe. Yeah, I don't want to stay here forever. Big words. I don't know what I'm going to do. You're not going to go off to clean again, eh? No. No, I'm going to ask her to marry me. Accusations of cheating lead to devastating consequences. Brand new drama Cheat, starring Catherine Kelly across four nights, starts next Monday at nine. Next, we'll have no cheating as Jeremy Clarkson asks the million pound question in you, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs>